Welcome to the week 3 of Starfield Mods, a series dedicated to mod coverage for Starfield and where we fix Bethesda's oversights, introduce exaggerated features to female characters, and overall improve the game's visuals and quality of life. Let's dive right into it. Icon Sorting Tags It's not a secret that Starfield has a bunch of lootable clutter, and the first experience of your average loot goblin such as myself can be a little bit overwhelming. Now with this mod, as it adds a small icon in front of all lootable items in the world, making your inventory management much more user-friendly. It also works alongside Star UI we covered last episode and introduces item categorization to your UI so you can locate desirable items more easily. Scanner Encumbrance Display Since systems like ship and outpost building are a big part of your gameplay loop, it is heavily agreed upon that getting overburdened in this game is a common occurrence and the only way to check your weight is to open the inventory. With SCD, that information is available to you on a bottom left scanner heads-up display element alongside local time and universal time, so all relevant information is available to you without having to pause the game. Ammo Type Icons I honestly don't understand why this is not a feature in the original game as Starfield has a bunch of weapon types and each uses different ammo. So why not display this to the player? This mod solves that with a simple and a subtle icon next to your weapons, providing crucial info to the player without him having to pause the game. Our last two episodes, we covered several compact UI overhauls that essentially aim to modify different UI elements by shrinking their size by 45%. Well, that series of mods has expanded even more to shipbuilding UI, so now you can engage with shipbuilding system with less scrolling up and down. Same goes for crew menu as well, smaller and more compact view, less scrolling and honestly to me personally, much more aesthetic as well. And the last one extends to outpost building as well, which is the one that I appreciate the most as I like messing around with this system more than others. All of these are very easy to install and work flawlessly alongside one another. Let's go ahead and add more quality of life mods, but this time around focus on traversal and time saving. Simply faster ladders. Finally, after decades have passed, Bethesda has graced us with climbable ladders to interact with. However, for some, climbing animations are too slow, so with this self-explanatory mod, speed up the whole process. You may choose a reasonable 25% speed increase that looks natural but is faster, or perhaps go for a bit more extreme version, which is about 50% climbing speed increase and seems to be the most sought out option. There is also a 100% increase if you don't care about your character looking like they're on crack, essentially. As far as object interaction is concerned, it seems like the community is not really a fan of lengthy airlock opening and closing animations. So, you may pick up faster airlock and hatch mod, where you can speed up the whole process up to quite extreme levels. There's a 1.5x version as well as a 10x version, so you can pick your poison. The great thing about this mod is that it offers you a lot of choices. If you want to throw all realism out the window and just max out convenience, you can go as far as up to 50 times speed increase, which is essentially instant, or a more believable middle ground 3 times the speed with a good balance of convenience and realism. The mod applies speed up animations to a bunch of other airlock and hatch doors, as well as airlock doors linked to a loading screen. However, if your attention span is longer than your average TikTok user or a YouTuber that showcases community-created mods, Ooh, self -burn. Those are try this cool little mod for size. More dramatic grav jumps. The grav drive as a module allows the ship to make faster than light jumps from one place to another and also provides the ship with artificial gravity. It essentially bends space around the player's ship, so why not increase the cinematic element of this revolutionary discovery? This mod does this in three different variants and is for you patient players out there looking for a fully-fledged immersive gameplay experience. Honestly, I personally love this mod, and the grab jumping from orbit becomes more rare the further you go into your playthrough, so the increase in time to jump from point A to point B was a trade-off I was willing to accept. These are also pretty neatly implemented with lots of camera shake effects and combining multiple existing grab jump camera angles and sometimes they swap between two perspectives as well. And the mod's end result is quite cinematic and well dramatic fitting its description. Real Milky Way Galaxy, a simple retexture mod that replaces the blurry in-game galaxy with a real Milky Way picture taken by NASA and upscaled to AK using AI. 
it objectively looks better pretty much anywhere, whether you are in orbit or on the surface of a moon. 8K Planets, another retexture mod that upscales all planet textures to 8K with AI technology with additional layers. It also includes original Moon, Mars, Venus and Jupiter textures with 40 NASA upscale generic cratered ice and rock planet type textures with more clarity and sharpness. More immersive landings and takeoffs. Another one of these immersion mods that take the opposite approach of speeding everything up in the game, but rather taking in the landing and taking off sequences for what they truly are and improve upon the existing formula. This mod aims to make landings and takeoff sequences a little bit more immersive by introducing cockpit view for a duration. There are multiple variants included, so you may choose between several options, as well as increased duration of the sequence itself, and the most notable ones are 70 to 30 cockpit view to standard angle split, and of course a fully first person cockpit view for the entirety of landing and takeoff sequences. I'm not gonna lie though, these landing and takeoff camera angles leave me slightly saddened that we can't physically land on planets, even though I do understand it's a lot to ask for. Lifting off now. Sprint stuttering fix. Did you know that when the player reaches a certain speed, mostly by sprinting, the game engine begins to ignore the camera motion smoothing code? This mod was created to fix this, and as you can see, the difference is massive as twitching and stuttering has been completely smoothened out, making this amazing little plugin a must-have. Stealth Overhaul. You've probably noticed that stealth in Starfield is basically unviable gameplay method, as I think Bethesda overcorrected due to all the memes from Skyrim. This mod overhauls several aspects of stealth by reducing NPC's detection radius and the sound produced by the player. Unfortunately, as we don't have Creation Kit yet, these adjustments are flat-out reductions rather than actual balancing efforts, but it does make stealth gameplay a bit more viable without making it a complete god mode. I mean, look at the comparisons. You literally get detected by NPCs just by existing. You can't even afford to move an inch before you're seen, even though you're out of line of sight. So, what this mod does is reduces view cone for NPCs, overall NPC detection in regards to the player sounds, reduces the sound players produce based on equipment weight, detection for NPCs when they're sleeping, and a flat-out reduction in detection capability in exterior areas. In my limited experience, stealth is still very hard, but at least it's not impossible anymore. Effects textures enhanced, every last visual in Starfield remade and improved. It essentially improves subtle effects that you may not notice in your regular gameplay, however, due to how drastic some improvements are, you just might. The mod covers a plethora of effects such as explosions and ambient effects, decals, weapon effects such as muzzle flashes and bullet impacts by making them more in-depth and realistic, fire and smoke effects, all the way to laser improvements for arc welders and cutters by making them girthier and more thick looking. Last time we covered Enhanced Dialogue Interface, and here is another cool option that you can utilize. Better Dialogue Controls improves the dialogue controls by allowing you to select topics using the number keys, move through topics using left and right arrow keys or a mouse wheel, and confirm your selection using spacebar. Expanding upon Enhanced Dialogue Interface, we also have Enhanced Subtitles. Now, these on the surface look pretty normal, as the only thing it does is remove black bars and adds a drop shadow effect to the text. However, in tandem with Enhanced Dialog Interface, there are some really cool presets that you can take advantage of. These presets are essentially pre-made for you, and as long as you have their requirements, you are set. Look at this, you can have Skyrim-themed layout if you'd like, a Cyberpunk-themed layout and a color scheme as well, or perhaps a Witcher 3 or Fallout themed layout and a color scheme. The options are kind of endless, and most of these presets, though inspired by other games, kind of fit the zoomed-in dialogue camera angle. Are you unsatisfied with Bethesda's flat, androgynous body they provided the female characters with? Finally turn female bodies from this into this. Voluptuous body mod introduces totally not exaggerated features to your I can't read this seriously, dude. Oh, God. Yeah, all I can say, um, 
we're not there yet, gentlemen. And ladies, the 4% of you watching. As an avid user of 3BA body mod in Skyrim and the curves enthusiast myself, this body mesh is slightly exaggerated and I think we need a bit more time and a creation kit in order to get something more believable. Figured I'd showcase it to see the progress in about a year from now, because we all know which mods are the most popular for Bethesda games. But that's it for week 3 of Starfield Mods. If you enjoy these showcases, do me a favor and consider subscribing to the channel. I mostly focus on mod coverage for different games, and if you want to stay up to date with the modding community, this would be a good one-stop shop for it. If not, that's cool. Thank you for stopping by and for watching the video. Take care, everyone.